This is the Aeonio Pocket S, as you all know guys. It may be the most powerful Android handheld out there at the moment for gaming. So if you want to check out the full in-depth review, carry on watching guys. So let's kick it off then with uh, Winlater. Yeah, that's right guys, an uh, emulator within an emulator within an emulator. This is Sega Rally um, Championship, the old classic game that I managed to get run running using Winlater after a lot of setup. Um, uh, uh, it did manage to run, so let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, all the keys are mapped quite nice, uh, which I quite like, and it runs well. You can go full screen as well. Uh, you can see a little windowed border there. But that can easily be sorted out, guys. And I have the analog stick working. Now this is on balance setting. You can step it up to game. Uh, let's quickly do that on the run on the right. Oops, it's actually come out of the game. One sec, guys. So, guys, we're back in game mode. Uh, we get that full 60 frames per second. You can see it's a lot smoother now. Uh, you can go up to max, uh, but it doesn't really need it, to be honest. You can see it's beautifully smooth right now. So as you can see guys, I was using uh, this uh, Winlater, uh, which you can add shortcuts to your windows. Uh, you can see there I've got the Sega Emulator 2 and 3 in here. And how you use it is pretty simple. You just have something called a container, um, which you have settings on the container. And you can go ahead and just, you know, uh, set up the container to resolutions what you want it to use and so on it takes a bit of setup guys but you know once you do it but that's what i use to get uh sega rally up and running and there you go you can see it right there okay this is suyu using suyu the latest uh switch emulator and this is the latest uh Lynx Awakening game. You can see it runs good. Let me just get a better zoom in on this. There you go. Now I'm using uh, some custom graphics driver, turnip driver on this one. Uh, not the uh, default Qualcomm one. You can see it runs pretty decent. And guys. See you in later, Link's Awakening. You can see it runs decent. May have a little glitching. Uh, 
And this is using the custom turnip driver again. Start the valley. Same in emulator to so you. Uh, this is using the default Qualcomm GPU. You can see it runs really well. PlayStation 2 Devils May Cry. Some GameCube guys, UG's Mansion 3. Crazy Taxi, Dream Pass. PlayStation Tekken 3. So 
Oh guys, that is mainly the ANEO Pocket S. Uh, it can pretty much handle a lot of uh, games up to maximum, you know, GameCube and higher, uh, as you see in PlayStation 2. This is your switch on the side that lets you go, uh, go to power modes instantly. So you can see there going into max mode. That is your maximum gaming mode. And then if you click it again, uh, it should go drop down into balance and then upwards again. That's a good way of getting, you know, into the power mode that you need straight away fast, you know, while you're gaming. And then you got the swipe down there. You got AR Neo here, which you go into, which is their own interface uh, where you can set up and have all your games in one nice place, as you can see here. Um, you know, and it will scrape the uh, box art for you uh, all nicely. There you go. It's done it all for me there. That's main. It's quite nice, actually. Um, there again. It's a nice little interface, so you could use that as well. Um, and what else? Uh, you have the ANEO's own. Uh, update settings, uh, which, and you have RetroArc, of course. Uh, you can always use RetroArc and use all your other emulators that you need to. But this is the important one, guys. Aeonia's OM OS here um, interface that l allows you to, uh, you know, select different settings like the RGB color lighting. Uh, there you go. You can have breathing. You can set it all up in here and the controllers and so on and you've also got updates this is it very important guys all your updates will be listed here where you can go ahead and update like the controller firmware or the window uh, or a neo a um, neo space and you have all your information there for settings so this is a very important guys and then the other one is the actual uh, os update which you can get directly through the settings, guys. Just going into settings. Uh, you have some more settings here, sorry. Go down to the bottom, system. And I think it actually was on the desktop here. Somewhere, there you go, system update. So you go come here and you check for updates here regularly as well. When I got the device, it was already, uh, there was one update which I went ahead and done. I always check that one, guys. I think this is an amazing machine. It literally plays everything I threw at it. Um, you know, up to it even does win later, which uh, I demonstrated Sega Rally. You could go ahead and play your favorite Windows game actually on the Android system, guys. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the old Yuzu, which got taken down. Uh, but uh, the open source one is this new latest one that I've demonstrated. Uh, PlayStation 2, Dolphin, Play PSP, and Dreamcast, and PlayStation. That's kind of like more or less what I want to play. And then I've got RetroArch or my other systems. I think that's a perfect combination there, guys. Um, you've also got uh, uh, different launchers that you can actually use. Uh, e, uh, the EMDS and so on. Um, but I may try a different launcher which I will show in another video uh, very shortly. Uh, I'm working on another front end uh, to install on here. And I think I have the perfect one, but I will show that in a later video. But I hope you enjoy the video, guys. That was just a, a little um, overview of what this uh, powerful machine by A or Neil can actually do. Android machine. Um, it's probably the best one out there that I've ever had. Pure pure quality on the device is so good you got 16 gigs of ram in this one um, and it feels extremely comfortable to use premium and it runs literally everything you throw at it guys so if you're looking to get one i highly recommend this device over any other android device um you know and i know they have been selling out uh loads of these so if you haven't already guys i highly recommend it so Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you soon.